What's going on, DJ Booth.net? This is Kareem Julian, DJ Blaze, and I'm here in the lab to give you guys a quick unboxing and first impressions video of the new Hercules DJ Console RMX2 Digital DJ Controller. And Hercules have been in the business uh, quite a few years now, and they're actually, you know, starting to find a nice little niche for themselves where they come in at a pretty good price point, and they have really good, um, solid build quality, and you get a full package and, you know, a nice small compact size and at a good price point so good for intermediate and and beginner level DJs and also good for professionals who just want something small to take it on the go with them so this is how you get it um, it's basically a two deck controller um, comes with virtual DJ and dejuiced softwares that's what we'll be testing it with when we do the full out HD video review video after this one um, you get your velocity pads and we'll just break it down as we see it straight out of the box. So first off, with like some of the other Hercules DJ controllers in the past, um, you get a nice plush bag to store your controller in. Comes with a nice adjustable strap, um, nylon material, and it has adequate enough padding to protect your DJ controller through transport. A little bit more on the bag. Uh, the bag is pretty spacious. It has another pocket in here, a pouch. Maybe you can put your headphones and cables and things like that in it. it has feet on the bottom, a little protection. So at least you're getting something with it. And they took the time out to include something extra with it when most controllers don't come with something. So kudos to them for doing that. Also here you have your power cable. Um, you see it's the double style power cable where you need to plug in your adapter style depending on where you're living in the world. And you also have your USB cable as well. Next up you have a quick start guide of the DJuice software. And the other side just kind of breaks down what all the different parts are for the RMX2. Next up we have the user manual. Next up we have the DJ console RMX2 virtual DJ and DJuiced software along with drivers all on one disc. Nice and easy for someone who wants to just quickly get started. No confusion. And next last but not least we have the controller. It's a rather compact controller. Um, like you can really, literally take this with you anywhere, basically, and get the party started. From the animations and different publications on TV, it looked like it was going to be a bigger unit. But as you can see, it's a small unit. I have pretty big hands, and one hand covers just about half of the unit. Um, but it is a full, solid metal controller. Feels like it's built to last. You got your push style jog wheels. You have your three band EQs with your gain knobs. And you have your four velocity sensitive pads on each deck. Uh, used for cue points, for loops, for samples, and effects. And you have a user replaceable um, crossfader. So you can easily replace that um, by just unscrewing the face plates here around the fader. You got your shift, sync, cue, play, pause. Everything is familiar in layout. You have your navigation controls in the middle here. And you have your mic um, output on the top. And your mic input, sorry, and your headphone output in the top left. You also have another headphone output on the bottom as well, on the front panel. So around the back, you get really high quality uh, balanced XLR outputs. You also have an output 3 and 4. A booth out one and two RCAs. So you got two separate um, RCA style outputs that you have a choice of there. And then you have your input for each of your decks. You can use either line or phono, and each one has its own solid metal post for grounding if you're using your vinyl record decks. So it feels pretty solid. And um, we're going to go ahead and break this down in the official HD video review, so stay tuned. We should have that done within the next couple weeks. Um, so keep it locked to www.djbooth.net slash DJS. 
Also, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you know exactly when these videos are coming out first. And the YouTube username there is Real DJ Blaze. And also keep um, following me back on Twitter. That way you know when I'm testing new stuff. I'll throw on some little uh, extra photos and extra uh, videos of just me just messing around in the, in the lab once in a while. And uh, you can follow me on Twitter there. And that's at DJ Blaze underscore DJ Booth. Thanks for watching.